Hey, there's a few reasons a teacher might want a student to complete assignment A before doing assignment B. Uh, maybe assignment A is a review for a test. Maybe assignment A just needs to be done so assignment B makes sense. Maybe they want to require the student to look at a web page before they uh, answer questions about the web page. For whatever reason, there, there's a lot of good reasons to do that. So go into your course and click on modules. Now if you don't have any modules create one or you can make a new module by clicking up here. So I'm gonna call this one Steve and I'm gonna create another one that I'm gonna call Bob. Um, I, I suggest you name your modules actual things like not Steve and Bob but that's going to help me remember later that I just set these up to show people random stuff and not leave them in a class that I might actually use. Uh, one note about modules, remember that if the module isn't published, the stuff in it isn't visible to students. And so be sure that I, I like to publish them right away because I don't usually hide stuff in them. But if you hide stuff in them, just be aware of that. If the kids are coming back saying, I don't have access, that could be it. Okay, to add something to a module, you click the plus here. I'm going to add this Greek city assignment, and I'm going to add this map region activity, and down here I'm going to add the Roman Emperor research. Okay, so now I've got some stuff in my two modules, and I can move them around. So I can change the order and do whatever I'd like. So first, I would like them to do these two things in this order. I want to lock that so that they have to do the map region activity before they do the Greek city assignment. So I'm going to click over here. In the module, there's this snowman. I'll click it and hit edit. Now, I'm going to add a requirement. I'm going to require the kids to do something, so it's called add requirement. So I want them to do all of these. Now, th this is organized a little funky, and I don't really like it. So first, do I want students to do all of the things listed down here? Or do I want them to do one of the things listed down here? I wish there was like a line or something. I want them to do everything listed down below, so I'm going to leave that there. And I do want them to do it in order, so I'm going to click that. Now I only have one activity here, but I have two things in my module, so I'm going to add the other activity. So for the map region activity, I want them to submit it. And for the Greek city assignments, I'm going to check it so they could mark it as done. They could just see it. So I could add a web page in here and require them to do that. And as a matter of fact, let me show you how to do that. So plus, and here in the add things, I'm going to add a external URL, a web page. Now give me a sec while I find something good. So I found this cool thing about Women's History Month. So there's the... URL, note I've got to have the HTTPS, and then this is what it's going to be called. I'm sure you love just sitting there while I type. Yeah, and then you can select. You want it to load in a new tab? Uh, don't turn that on unless you really need it to be that way. I kind of hate that when I'm doing it. And then you can select whether you want it indented in your module. That's kind of handy. So I'm going to load that. Notice it's not published so the kids can't see it. I'm going to publish it. And then I want that to be the first thing. You're going to view this first. So now I'm going to go back into here. And I'm going to add this requirement. Uh, first, I could lock it until a certain date if I chose to. But I'm going to add this requirement. I do want them to go through in sequential order. I want them to start by viewing Women's History Month. Then I want them to submit the map region activity. Then I want them to just say that I'm done with the Greek city assignment. So once I have that, notice they're going to complete all of these and they're going to do it in that order. Click on update. So now that's done. It says up here, complete all items and I've got to publish it. Now if kids are in my class, it's going to say, hey, do you want to relock this stuff? And then you have the choice. Yes, I want to relock it because I want all the kids to make it work this way. Or no, I don't. I don't need that. Um, so take your pick. 
Now, let's say that the Roman Emperor research, let's say that that's my test. So after they do this unit, which is the weirdest unit ever, jumping all over history, um, once they do this unit, then I want them to complete the test. So here's the prerequisite, and here is the, um, <laughs> the, the final activity. So again, I'm going to go into the modules and hit edit. And you'll see that now I can make a prerequisite, so they have to do it before this, or I can make a requirement just like I did in the last module. I'm going to do a prerequisite. And I'm going to say I want this other module, Steve, remember me. I'm going to make it be the one. So hit update. And again, i got to publish it, even though it was already published. So now they have to do all the stuff that I said, and it lists it right here, view. Submit, and then Mark is done, and then when they're done with all three of those, then they will have access to the stuff in this module. Now, that that's it works really well. It is almost, as long as you set it up correctly, it's going to work for the kids without having uh, a lot of difficulty. Uh, the one thing I will kind of warn you about is that this isn't really very intuitive for kids. The, the organization, they have struggled, they, they struggle with. Unless you make your modules your homepage, and then they tend to just click on it in order, and it'll give them a nice done mark over here. And, and so that's, that's a good option, especially if you are new to Canvas, you can set it up and, and say, hey, you know, this date, I want you to do these three things. And when you're done with those, this thing opens up. Um, but if you just, you have pages and you have assignments randomly in Canvas and the kids never see this organization, then it, it's kind of hard for them to, to navigate. So think it through. Uh, I will show you one last thing. The other nice thing about these is when a student clicks in here um, as a teacher, I don't know if it'll show it or not. Yeah, it does. They have these nice previous and next buttons. And so they can just click the next button to go to the next assignment. And, and that's handy. It's a good way to organize it for them.